Today we're going to do a, a classic song by uh, Brian Adams, Run To You. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pretend we don't have the capo, so this is going to be 3, 5, 7, 9, and then, of course, 12. So it's just to make it easy. And we're just going to pick it like this. So we're going to do that twice. And then we're just going to go up. So on your left hand, you're not changing any fingerings whatsoever. It's just all on the right hand. Twice down. So slow motion. One more time. And then we're going to leave our middle finger there and we're going to use our ring finger to go to the fifth fret. It's going to sound like this. And then we're going to move our, we're going to stay at that position. And we're going to go to the 6th fret on the A and 7th fret on the E. So this is what that sounds like in slow motion again. So see how that works on the... to the beginning again. Um, so let's try that uh, medium tempo. And then here he does a little riff here and this is going to be on the ninth fret on the G. And then third fret on the G. I mean, fourth fret on the G. And here I just do a power chord, uh, just hitting these two notes, five and seven. And then go to the seventh fret, same position. And then here we're going to go to um, the ninth fret on the E. And our ring finger, we're going to go on the D and the G on the 9th fret as well. And then our pinky is going to be on the 10th fret once. So it's going to go ba 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 ba, let it go. Dun. So. And then it goes to the, the tune. So let's try it up to that point, uh, medium tempo. And then here we're just going to do um, uh, chords, and it's going to be just E, G, D, and to the A. So that's going to be um, E minor. 
to a G, to a D, to an A. So this song's in F sharp, so it's not really an E, but I'm just saying it's an E because it's it's got that form. All right, and then that one little part that he does that uh, it's going to be on the B string, and it's going to be 11 and 12 on the B string. Back to 11. Then we're going to go to 11 G, 11 D. So. So we're going to go 9, 9 to 10, back to 9, back to 9G, 9D, and then we're going to go to 7 doing that same riff. And then we're going to go up again. So medium tempo. And then the second guitar part is going to be uh, on the G, 11 and 13, and back to 11 on the G. And then 11 on the D. 13 on the A. So it sounds like this. And then again, we're going to do exactly the same shape, but we're going to go to 9 and 11. 9D, 11A. Same shape, everything. We're just going to go down a whole step again to 7G, 9G. 7G, 7D, and 9A. And then let's go up again exactly what we just did. So this is what it sounds like both played together. it sounds like uh, together. It sounds kind of weird just... Well, that part sounds really familiar, but this part sounds kind of off. And then he just riffs that, uh, those chords again. All right, so let's try the whole thing, medium tempo. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's try it up to tempo and see what that sounds like. Two, three, and... 